What if I told you in some alt universe, kids boppin', rainbow toting, Jojo Siwa, and DJ Tanner were beefing? In a very interesting turn of events, that alt universe just so happens to be this one, and we can honestly say that absolutely nothing surprises us anymore. On the popular video sharing app TikTok, Jojo decided to take it upon herself to share to her millions of followers a fun video disclosing her celeb crush, along with the kindest celeb she's ever met, as well as the rudest, and to to all of our dismay, Christian Candace Cameron Burr was confirmed to be the woman who Jojo had such an unfortunate encounter with that she remembered it after all these years. But was the incident as terrible as we'd all suspect? Well, according to Candace, not quite. Oh, TikTok. With a slogan like, where trends are made, absolutely no one should take that with a grain of salt. The app without a doubt has transformed the lives of millions, and counting with everyone shooting their shot at their 15 minutes or longer of fame. One longtime industry veteran, Candace Cameron Burr, better known as playing DJ Tanner in the longtime running ABC sitcom Full House, has had her livelihood almost transformed more than once. Whether it be ticking off non-believers by speaking on her Christian values, or simply, you know, having any ounce of opinion at all that goes against the popular vote, this time Candace has been in the hot seat after Dance Moms alumni and popular kids icon Jojo Siwa took to her personal TikTok account on a warm sunny day by the poolside sporting a blue bikini to do what teens do and make silly short videos. Well, Jojo decided to spice things up by picture dropping the rudest celebrity she's ever met. Contrary to some people's beliefs, previous wild child Miley Cyrus was listed as the kindest celeb Jojo had met, Zendaya was apparently her celeb crush, all whilst Candace was listed as the rudest. This of course took everyone by surprise who were lurking in TikTok's relating comment section in hopes of discovering the culprit behind the DJ Tanner slander. Needless to say, the revelation came as a complete shock to, well, literally everyone. Full House fans and non-fans alike, those that follow her across social media platforms, and even those flabbergasted in JoJo's comments. Almost immediately, Siwa fans closed one app and entered another, known as Instagram, to flood Candace Cam Cameron's comments berating her about JoJo's claims, and best believe when Candace caught wind of all the blindsided backlash, she took action right away. The following day, unbeknownst to us while we were all catching Z's, Candace put on her mama bear cap and dialed up JoJo for some much needed reconciliation. Gaining info through a mutual friend, Candace had actually called JoJo personally to gain insight on why JoJo titled her the rudest celeb she's ever met. And luckily for us, Candace posted all the tea on her personal IG page. See in her car, the blue-eyed blondstress explained that her and the 19-year-old Nickelodeon star had a much-needed conversation recapping the events that led up to Jojo feeling some type of way towards the mom of three for nearly eight years. The story goes as follows. When the world was hyped or concerned upon hearing the news of a Full House spin-off series, Fuller House, starring Candace Cameron Burr and the Tanner family, one person who was more than thrilled was a then 11-year-old up-and-coming boomerang sensation, Jojo Siwa, who had actually been invited to the Fuller House premiere in 2016. Excited to hopefully take pics with her faves, Jojo eagerly walked up to the Tanner family and asked for a photo, more specifically with the Fuller House star Candace Cameron. But when she was hit with a not right now from Candace, Jojo moped back to her mother disappointed about the entire ordeal. Flash forward to present day giving the rundown to her followers while sitting in a vehicle, Candace told the audience, or in this case the camera, that she understood how Jojo felt, especially being a mom. She explained how she broke Jojo's 11-year-old heart and didn't mean any ill will towards her at the premiere all those years ago. Giving a full-hearted apology, Candace then went on to explain how according to Jojo, she wasn't aware of how the short little silly video could gain such attention in such a short amount of time being shared and reposted by all of the interweb and big media outlets, which, I mean, isn't that what TikTok is intended to do? In response to Jojo basically saying that she didn't mean for her vid to go viral like it did, Candace threw out a little PSA to those in attendance, telling everyone to be more mindful of the things they post because you never know who it could potentially hurt in the long run, in this case, Candace. Unfortunately, the PSA didn't quite sit well with some fans who thought it was a disservice to the rest of the video. To them, it seemed as if Candace was caught up in her own image instead of giving a sincere apology to Jojo. Of course, opposing views told those folks to shut right on up, giving it being Candace's platform, and thought she had every right to tell people to be aware of the content they share, and literally where is the lie? To tie everything together, Candace offered Jojo a full-fledged apology and told the naysayers that there was, in fact, no drama. A tsunami of support from fans and other celebrities took to Candace
Candace's comments to show their support and testimonies of meeting Candace. One standout, Jenna Johnson, showed her support with a couple of heart emojis, and some Siwa fans gave the interaction a side-eye since, after all, Jenna and JoJo were actually paired up on season 30 of ABC's competition show Dancing with the Stars as the first same-sex pairing in the show's history. Other media journalists and outlets like Entertainment Tonight were also at the Fuller House premiere and got the chance to speak with Candace Cameron herself, who did in fact state how tired she was during the outing. Long and behold, everything was now water under the bridge, and for the most part, both Candace and JoJo fans wiped their hands and allowed bygones to be bygones. But someone was not about to let things go oh so easily. Candace's daughter, Natasha Burr, was not about to let some 19-year-old kitty bopper get away with attempting to trash her mother, so she did what any daughter would probably do in this situation and defended her mom. Taking to her Instagram stories, Natasha basically told JoJo in a not-so-discreet message to go play with her JoJo bows and not with her mama. Respectfully, someone saying no to taking a photo with you is not a rough experience. This generation is so sensitive and has zero backbone. Grow up. There are bigger issues in the world than this. Ding, ding, ding. Round two. Fight. For someone to say that they don't want to take a photo with you or that it's a bad time because they're working is not a rough experience. There are people who are dying in other countries. There are children who are starving. Those people are having a rough experience. Of course, upon hearing that Candace's daughter had something, very much something, to say, Siwa fans flooded her comment section and reposted her story, prompting Natasha to delete the stories altogether and turn turn off all of her comments. Stepping out and about, media outlets were not hesitant whatsoever when asking JoJo about the ordeal, the following day after Candace posted her video explaining the situation. Being her polite and positive self, JoJo explained that the entire ordeal was just something that her 11-year-old self never forgot, and that it wasn't Candace denying her a photo op that had her in her 11-year-old feels. But it was the fact, whilst JoJo was walking away after being denied, she looked back and saw Candace taking pictures and having a good old funky time with other kids who had asked her for pictures, going on to say that this didn't make Candace an awful person in the slightest. As of recently, JoJo has yet to take down the TikTok that sparked the madness and insists on it being her truth. We'll take we didn't see that coming for 500, Alex. Do you think JoJo was overreacting, or do you think her blasting Candace Cameron Burr was justified? Let us know your thoughts and opinions down below, and we'll catch you in the next video.